Hi, I'm John Pullman, professional boxing trainer, owner of Pullman's Gym in Northridge, California, and this is Pullmanomics. Italian diplomat Machiavelli once said, never attempt to win by force what can be won by deception. What that means to me is don't waste energy trying to use brute force or, or uh, just going after something crazy if you can kind of finesse it a little bit to open it up. So when I think about that, you know, thinking about it in those terms, it, it reminds me about fainting a lot in boxing. Fainting comes from uh, the, uh, the terminology we take from fencing, you know, it means to like fake, to act like you're going to do something when you're not. Very effective, very, very effective tool for boxing, especially at its highest level. You'll see it used a lot. So today we're going to um, talk about how you can do some, use some really good feints and what are some ideas about it and techniques to it. So here we have Josh, right? He's going to be in his good boxing stance. And he's gonna use his rhythm, right? He's gonna have like, like a, a nice little rhythm going, right? And now you could do everything off this rhythm as we kind of discussed um, in, our, in the episode about building a rhythm. But, and the feints work really good off this rhythm. So he has his rhythm. And watch what it looks like when he throws a feint. Just watch for a second. But, ooh, yeah, faked me out on that one again. Perfect, good. Now let's talk about how he did that. So he's in a good boxing stance. He's not, he's not going to have a rhythm right now. He's just going to be in a good boxing stance. And when you want to feint, for me, the first basic feint, the best way to kind of think about it is what do you do right before you jab? Right before you jab, what do you do? Usually when you jab, you step with your front foot and your lead hand kind of go together. So when you feint, you want to think about your shoulder and your foot. So he's going to do just the beginnings of a feint. What, of a jab, watch his foot, whoo, exactly, so the arm doesn't really go out much at all, so it's, more in the sh it's more in the shoulder and the foot, whoo, exactly, and he's not going to lean his head forward, whoo, exactly, and then he pulls it right back, he takes the look, the subtler the better, I see guys faint like really big, and those aren't necessarily believable, especially at the highest level, so you want to make the faint nice and subtle, and it takes some time to really develop that, right, so a good basic faint is your front shoulder and your front foot, look, Whoop, exactly. Again. Whoop. And when you faint, you also want to faint from a distance that's safe, right? He doesn't want to faint too close to me, and then I punch or something, and he leaves himself open. He's at a safe distance, right? He faints, and he's ready for action. He could do anything off the faint. He could faint whoop, and do anything. He can make another move. He could step back. He could faint, step back out the way. He could faint, then slip. Whoop, and then maybe the other way. Whoop, faint, then punch. Ooh, good. So you can do one feint, two feints, whatever. They might do two feints. One feint, two feints. Good. You can step over this way. Feint. Step over that way. Feint. And it's really in the foot and the shoulder if you watch. And this takes some time to develop. So you're, it's not going to look perfect at first, but if you have a mirror, you know, you can get in front of the mirror and you can just look at yourself, what it looks like to feint. Your little foot. And again, the subtler the better. And it takes some time to develop it to make it look really good. But if you stick with it and you practice, you will develop it. Okay, so here we have a heavy bag and we're gonna use this tool to kind of show how uh, you can punch really solid after fainting, right? So we got Josh in a good boxing stance and he's, he's in his little rhythm, right? He has a little rhythm that we went over. He's using his little bit of feet, little steps, little upper body motion. And when I say go, he's gonna faint, right? Ready, go. Good, then he moves around. Go. So he's using his feint to set something up. He's fainting. He's seeing what is open for the opponent. He's seeing how the opponent reacts to his feint. That's another good way of using your feint to see what the opponent's going to do. You're also being deceptive. The opponent doesn't know when you're coming. Feint is really good too if a guy's a good counter puncher. The guy's really good at counter punching. If you just go and he's, he's sharp with it, you, got, you feint him. You've got to feint him a couple times to loosen him up so to mess up his timing, right? So he can't counter punch you. So Josh, now what Josh is gonna do, he's gonna feint and then throw a jab. Go, feint, bang, a nice hard jab. 
He can only do that if he's in control of his body. So even though he's fainting, he's not losing his balance when he's fainting. He's fainting subtly, staying within himself, and then jabbing. Tyson Fury does this really well. I just thinking about him. I uh, watched him fight the other day. Go. Ooh, good. Now he's going to throw a one-two off the faint. Go, faint. Ooh, good. Then he's going to move around. He got his little rhythm going. Now he's going to give me two feints only. Go. Faint, faint. Good. One more time. Go. Faint, faint. Good. So he kind of went up and down with it. That was nice. Now he's going to... Uh, yeah, that's the other thing. As you get good at these feints, you get a little more creative with them. You can faint down. You can even act faint a right hand. But right now, stick with the basic one at first. You're just using like right, what you do right before you jab. So now he's going to give me two feints and two jabs. So let's try that. Go. Faint, faint. Jab, jab. Good. One faint, one jab. Go. Faint, jab. One faint, one, two. Whoop, bop, bop. Good, faint. Good, so that's what you can do too. You can punch, sometimes you can punch right after the faint, like what he's doing now, but what, what he just did, like watch, do it again. Faint and then throw one, two right away. Faint, one, two. One way of doing it, really good. Another way is he's gonna faint, take a beat, and then punch, watch. Faint, whoop, beat, and then punch. Kinda trick him a little bit. You, gotta, you wanna be deceptive, mixing up your timing. He's gonna faint step to his left, faint, left hand. Bang, right. Faint, then left hand right away. Whoop, bang, right. So there's just so many things you could do with these feints once you really develop them really good. So make sure you uh, practice them really good.